Hey, Christopher here. I started development on the Bitcoin I can set website and I just wanted to talk about a couple of things here. So one thing that I did is um, if you look at the the icons here, uh, if I take a look at any of these components, uh, on the right hand side you see that every component has a description and a documentation link. Uh, so what I did here was when I run this I can set export helper here, it also creates a JSON object here on the right hand side. So these are the icons I can just, the, exp the SVGs I can just straight out export. And this is a data object that contains the names of all icons, uh, whether they have filled and outline versions. And if I set a description or a documentation link for a component, it'll also include it in here. So I can then copy paste this data here and it's kind of a complete data set uh, or information set for this uh, icon, for all these icons. And I can put that in the repository and then I can use that uh, on, the, we can use that on the website. So here's my development environment running on my local host. This uses um, pretty straightforward Vue.js setup. I kept things kind of simple right now. I feel like it's still kind of rough, uh, but I'm using this JSON data object here to, to render this. Uh, and then I copy pasted the SVGs from the Bitcoin icon set repo. I think this website probably should live in its own repository. Um, so somehow it would be nice to not have to copy paste the icons over, but if we could just kind of automatically uh, pull those in or reference them from the original repository so those icons don't live in multiple places. Um, kind of same for the download link here. I'm not really sure how to make that happen. There's probably some release management and I don't know, maybe set an NPM module or whatever it is. There are probably some mechanics there that we can use that uh, I'm not aware of. But uh, other than that, uh, it's pretty straightforward site. Uh, we have this grid of icons here. I think it looks when I see it in the browser, it looks okay. I thought it looked better in Figma, but actually using it is not that cool, I think. Um, so I can <clears throat> I can go in here and search. So if I want contacts here, or I want a node, you know, I get all these different icons. If I if there are no results, it just tells me and I, uh, tells me where I can request ones that should be added. Um, pretty straight forward here. Then I have the choice to between filled and outline. And this is a kind of an also an interesting thing to do if you get a chance to do this, kind of click back and forth and look at some individual icons and see how they change. Some of them, like all the arrows, you feel like it, it's obvious they're, you know, they're lines anyways. There's a very, there's barely noticeable difference, but it's kind of an interesting effect. The other thing I added in here was this light dark mode and that just uses CSS uh, variables. So if I sw switch over here, it uh, just inverts the black and the white um, across the whole site. That's pretty straightforward with just using CSS variables. And uh, that's kind of it here. Um, so I feel like it's pretty straightforward and we could wrap this up fairly quickly. Um, the mobile version, let me switch over here. Also, you know, nothing, everything pretty straightforward here. Just need to fix a whole lot of small things. Uh, and it, I feel like it could be a decent basic version one here with just uh, by cleaning up all of these remaining little things. But anyways, that's kind of where I am right now. I just kind of wanted to feel out what this is like um, when you actually interact with it. Right now it feels okay. I'm not blown away by it. Seems okay. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it and where you would take this next. So let me know. Thanks.